We have a great show lined up for you today on Retiring Well. Going to be talking about 2022 tax planning tips, so be paying attention. Uh, what about the income gap? What is that? And qualities to look for in an advisor, along with su seven surprisingly valuable assets for a happy retirement. So all this and much more coming up on Retiring Well. Retiring Well, brought to you by Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors, specializing in retirement planning and serving all of Northern Michigan. Retiring Well, helping you plan for a successful and comfortable retirement. Retiring Well, plan to retire well. As we begin another year here in 2023, here are three tax tips that uh, you can consider here as uh, we uh, enter this new year and we uh, look at uh, your individual tax situations. Number one, consider your federal income tax rate. If you didn't already know, the United States uses a progressive income tax system whereby if you have more income, you end up paying a higher percentage of your income as tax. Uh, that is referred to as your tax bracket or maybe your marginal rate. Uh, and that information in terms of knowing what it is for you uh, can determine whether or not it makes sense to look at different planning items. Maybe that's a, a situation where we want to accelerate your income by doing Roth IRA conversion. Maybe it's a situation where it makes more sense to take deferrals in the present and save at that possibly higher tax bracket rate than you'll see in retirement there. So that's a big consideration here as we come into 2023. Number two, consider a plan for your tax deferred and your retirement assets here over time. You know, that's something that makes a lot of sense in the present. If you're still working, obviously you want to make contributions to those accounts and you can obtain then uh, possibly some tax deferral with a, a long-term focus of taking funds out in retirement for income at that point. Uh, but this also pertains and is relevant for folks who are already in retirement. Uh, the reason being is those uh, funds in those retirement accounts, whether that's your traditional IRA, your Roth IRA, your 401k, um, can be used uh, not only for retirement income, but perhaps you have more of a legacy focus with those funds. If it's a case where that's part of the uh, legacy that you want to leave to your child possibly as a beneficiary. Uh, maybe it's a case where you want to utilize uh, those accounts for significant charitable giving in retirement. Well, it's a good uh, uh, time to just take a look at that, consider what the actual plan and purpose of those funds are um, over a long period of time, and then it, it will uh, lead to a situation where you can deploy certain planning strategies as a result of that. Uh, number three, uh, consider working with with a tax planner or a tax advisor uh, specific to your situation. I know it's tempting after filing your return in the early part of the spring to uh, submit it, put it away, and then maybe talk to the CPA or the accountant next year um, at that point to uh, start that whole process over again. Uh, there can, however, be a good opportunity to look at making some certain changes um, or plans intra-year with uh, your tax planning situation. So that's a case where uh, you can look at a qualified professional and hopefully get some guidance that way. Um, here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we do offer those services for our investment clients. So feel free to give us a call if you need more information on those services. Hey, I hope you found that helpful, where we get to talk about some tax planning tips. It's one of the most common things that we see uh, in our office, are clients that are worried about taxes. So Nick, I know you get a lot of those questions up there in Gaylord. What are some of the strategies you might suggest? Yeah, I mean, one of the big ones um, that I've come across recently is with HSA contributions. In fact, I had a client out of the Gaylord office who unexpectedly, um, he sold a property at the end of 2022, and he, he wasn't planning on that, and he was under the age of 65, so he kind of set his income for marketplace insurance based on a certain figure. And then when he sold that property, his income obviously goes up and that affects his health insurance subsidy and he's like well what can I do to avoid the different tax penalties associated with that and thankfully for him he had a qualified HSA health plan and he hadn't contributed to it yet so while he wasn't able to offset all of that income that he had from contributing to an HSA it did help him or it will help him when he files his taxes come April of this year 
You know, another thing that I see is um, people that have traditional IRAs or even SEP IRAs. You know, those are common to be able to contribute prior year contributions even in 2023. And so if you're in a situation where you did your uh, tax planning a little bit late or unforeseen, you know, sale of properties happen uh, and you're looking for different opportunities to max out uh, your tax efficiency plan, you know, look at what is available to you because there are some high uh, contribution limits in those SEP IRAs. Um, if you're older than 50, you know, you get some catch up pro um, provisions uh, for your traditional IRAs. And so just take a look and see how you might be able to minimize your tax burden uh, if that's your goal. So stay tuned. Coming up next, we're going to be talking about the income gap and qualities that you want to look for in an advisor. Stay tuned. If you like watching Retiring Well, make sure to go to youtube.com forward slash retiring well and click the subscribe button to never miss any of our TV shows and other informative videos. Living life isn't always easy. It puts up challenges and obstacles you'll have to overcome. There are responsibilities. You put in effort to provide and take care of your family. And to save and invest, to balance work and life. Planning is the first step to succeeding. Plan to retire well. I'd like to share this concept with you about the income gap. So take a moment now and, and just picture a basic three-legged stool. So it, it ultimately balances pretty well, doesn't it? Uh, now take into consideration from an income planning perspective for retirement. Though that three-legged stool that I've described essentially may be your pension, Social Security, and retirement savings. Well, pensions are, are essentially disappearing. I remember when I started uh, pretty much 18 years ago, it was always, well, we've got our pension, we've got our, our Social Security income, we're in pretty good shape, we'll, we'll draw a little bit from savings as needed, um, and, and that ultimately covers the retirement plan. So nowadays, though, without these pensions, how do you replace that income? So what if I said to you that you could create essentially your own personal pension plan? You know, you could set aside some money in savings, uh, you could defer that money for a period of years, and then it could provide a lifetime income, whether that's for you or maybe you and your spouse, and, and you'd have that, again, that income throughout the remainder of your lifetime. So sounds, sounds fairly attractive, right? But, but you might be wondering, well, what's, what's the catch here? Well, what I just described to you uh, is an annuity. Uh, these are handled through insurance companies and, and are structured in a way uh, that are going to provide that income stream to you and, and your spouse if you're married. And you can, you can count on that income for your, for your lifetime uh, based on the claims paying ability of the insurance company, of course. So there's a lot of different shapes and sizes to these different uh, annuities that are out on the market. So there may be examples of such where you're looking at a single premium immediate annuity. This is where you'd set the money aside and right away uh, you would start receiving an income stream and that would then go either you would establish for a period of years or you'd establish for your lifetime. You might also have different accounts that have more of a cash value associated with them, like in a fixed indexed annuity or a variable annuity. So again, there might be a lump sum amount that's attached 
to this account that then they're guaranteeing withdrawals and perhaps over your lifetime you may draw that uh, down balance down to zero but you may have a lifetime income rider where they're going to continue paying that income uh, for your lifetime so again there's going to be different costs involved with these uh, different types of annuities so you want to be well aware of what that looks like for your circumstance so if you have questions about this and in this concept of a personal pension plan or an annuity uh, we encourage you to give us a call. We'd be happy to walk through uh, those details with you, see if it's something that, that would be appropriate for, for your circumstances and might help you in your, in your goal to plan to retire well. The biggest concerns that clients have when they come to see us is usually the fear of the unknown. When they're heading into retirement, there are so many uncertainties that they're gonna face, not only financially, but with time, with insurances, with taxes. You figure you've got one chance to do it and you better do it right. With that fear of unknown, they're looking for somebody to, to walk alongside them in this journey and to guide them along the way. Retirement's like 20 to 30 years of unemployment, so you need to have a plan in place to generate that income. We can help eliminate some of those unknowns and give them the confidence that they're going to be able to succeed in the goals they want to do in retirement. We want you to have your finances in order so that that's more of an afterthought, more of something that you say, well, that's what our team at Centennial Wealth Advisory is there to take care of. Too often, our industry focuses on the tools that are available in mutual funds and stocks and bonds. And oftentimes, the industry wants to start with a product. We believe here that you should focus on the individual's goals first. What do you want to do in retirement? What does that look like to you? Then what strategies do we need to implement to make those goals become a reality? So often we find that our clients love spending time with their family, with their grandchildren. Here in northern Michigan, people love to be outside and enjoy kayaking or biking or hiking in the warmer months, sometimes in the winter months as well, out snowshoeing. Our hope at Centennial Wealth Advisory is to help you open up those opportunities to go and enjoy your retirement. As a financial advisor, it's not just my job to manage just your money. It's my job to understand who you are as a person your personal relationships, your aspirations and goals, and so I can help create a plan that ties your financial future with your personal future and all those goals. You want to retire, you get one opportunity to retire, and you want to do it right the first time. Our role here at Centennial Wealth Advisory is to help walk you through that entire process and ultimately help you plan to retire well. Let's take a few minutes and talk about what qualities to look for if you're shopping for a financial advisor or considering putting your money with one. I'm going to give you four ones that I think are important here. One, experience. Two, basically, do they have a specialty? Three, do they have your best interest in mind? And finally, communication and education. So one. What is their experience? Well, have they been through different market environments? You know, not every year is gonna be an up environment in the general stock market. So have they been able to maneuver and position clients appropriately through the various uh, aspects of the ups and downs of the market? Also, the economy does different things every year. How experienced are they with tracking that in either working with specialized individuals or teams of investors to make sure that you are being properly invested or matching up with what you're trying to accomplish? When we talk about specialties, it tends to be out there that a lot of advisors, there's, you know, when we look at the, the world, if you will, there's two types of investors. Growth and accumulation tends to be working younger, you're just adding money, you want to see as big as growth as possible, not needing to access that money right away. 
And then the income and distribution phase at some point, preservation of wealth sort of stuff, retirement. So oftentimes, depending upon where you're at in life, does that advisor have a specialty in one area or the other? You know, very different set of skill set when you think about retirement and the needs of that. Money is going out versus coming in, and now we have to make that last over a lifetime. Does the financial advisor have your best interest in mind? Think of the questions they're asking you. Is this a goal-oriented plan where these things are all built and designed to match up with what you're trying to do and your various goals? Or is this a plan that is more designed to sell you something and then is, is then trying to fit into what you're trying to accomplish? So think of that when you're going through and asking advisors questions. They should be asking you lots of questions as well. Finally, communication and education. How often is that advisor reaching out to you, touching base, reviewing your goals and strategies? How often and how much are they trying to educate you about the economy, what you have and why you have it, the advantages and disadvantages? We believe education is very important. Obviously, a lot of people put a great deal of trust in us to manage their retirement plans, but we want to come alongside you as the experts and help you understand what you have, why you have it. If you'd like to talk with us, please give us a call. We love the opportunity to give you a second opinion on your retirement plan. Hey, probably one of the most important things for you to know and for you to figure out is what is your income gap? And simply defined, it's what you want to spend versus what your contractual income is. I recently had a uh, couple um, from Wellston uh, come into the Cadillac office and they were really concerned about their income plan. And I said, okay, let's start with your contractual lifetime income. In their situation, they had together about $34,000 a year from Social Security. They also, or one spouse, had a pension of about $10,000 a year. So that puts us at about $44,000 a year of income, and they really wanted to spend in their go-go years of their retirement about $70,000. So what we did is we said, okay, we have a $26,000 income gap. Now let's go look at your retirement savings accounts, and let's, let's strategize how and where and when we're going to pull from those different accounts. And when we were able to map it out on the whiteboard, when we were able to use some of the technology that we have here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, uh, they left. Uh, understanding more and that's why we appreciate when you watch our show you know you get to hopefully learn more and you have a different sense of confidence as you attack those things that are unknown and variable in your life you know another segment there Nick uh, that we get to talk about are uh, qualities to look for in an advisor what do, you, what do you think about that yeah what are those qualities right um, you know the big one I think for our industry and uh, is whether the advisor is independent or a captive agent. Um, here at Centennial Wealth Advisory we are independent. So what does that mean? Well that means that we can shop around for these different products that are out there that might be best for your needs. We're not captive or beholden to any one um, product or company um, where we have to push those products onto you. Being independent we have the whole whole gamut of products that are out there that we can help fit into your retirement plan. Another one is those pushy salesmen. You don't want to have yeah. a pushy salesman trying to sell you something. You want to have your advisor work backwards, figure out what your goals are first, and then develop a plan around those goals. Your grandchildren are precious to you. They are your life. This is your time to have that special relationship. Taking care of yourself is taking care of them. Centennial Wealth Advisory is offering a free, no obligation retirement review to make sure you don't run out of money during your retirement. Centennial Wealth Advisory, your best is yet to come. What can Retirement Analyzer do for you? Retirement Analyzer is a software tool that can help you prepare today for your financial future. You've worked hard to save for your retirement, but as you near your retirement, you may have concerns. Have I positioned my retirement savings wisely? Have I saved enough for retirement, and will my savings last throughout my lifetime? What impact could inflation have on my future expenses? What if I suffer a long-term illness? 
Will I have enough money to cover my medical care expenses and still be able to meet my other financial obligations? Could changes in the income tax rates disrupt my retirement strategy? There's no need to be in the dark as you prepare for your retirement. Retirement Analyzer can help you find answers to all these questions and more. The first step is providing us with information on your financial assets, the type and current value of those assets, as well as your sources of income. Then, we work with you to identify your expected expenses in retirement. This will include a discussion of the lifestyle you envision in retirement, travel, a summer residence, whatever you dream your retirement will be. We'll input the information you provide us into the Retirement Analyzer, and in a very short time, we'll have reports that show us the percentage of assets currently in high-risk vehicles, as well as the percent in lower-risk products. Retirement Analyzer enables us to project your income from year to year in your retirement and see how long your retirement savings may last. As we change the conditions of the report, delaying your retirement date, including costs for long-term care, adjusting the expected tax rate, or adjusting your retirement strategies, we can see how changes in these variables may impact your income in retirement and the longevity of your retirement savings. Let the Retirement Analyzer help you test drive your retirement strategy today, because the time to discover the bumps in the road is not once your trip through retirement has begun. Contact our office today to schedule an appointment for your Retirement Analyzer review. At Centennial Wealth Advisory, we take a holistic approach to your retirement planning. So it's not just looking at what your investments are, but what is that long-term income plan for the next 30, 40 years of your retirement? What about taxes and what role they play in your retirement plan? Estate planning, what about life insurance, health insurance planning, all key areas to consider when looking at your retirement. So please visit our website or call the number on the screen. We'd love the opportunity to sit down with you for a no cost, no obligation visit. You know, as financial advisors, we do a lot of reading, obviously to stay up on the economic times, market trends, and so much more with that. But also it's interesting to kind of just look at all the other things that are happening out there in the world, specifically relating to, relating to a lot of what our clients are dealing with. You know, here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, obviously, as you know, we focus on retirement planning, whether that's for those that are nearing retirement or already in retirement. And so I come across this article that I thought I would share with you today from Kiplinger's, and it talked about seven surprisingly valuable assets to hold in retirement. And I found it interesting and I heard, you know, I saw the word asset and so I'm assuming this article is going to be about, you know, stocks or real estate or something like that. And it wasn't. And it was more about, I guess, personal well-being and stuff like that. So let me kind of walk through with this because I thought it was really interesting and hopefully you find it well. You know, the first valuable thing they talked about was your health, right? Maintainers, try to stay healthy, work to stay healthy. You know, what good is money if we don't have our health, right? You know, so much of our life we spend, you know, going to work, trying to raise a family and putting in all this time and stuff like that. And oftentimes our bodies or, or our health takes a back seat to that. You know, as, as we, we can't allow that to happen, especially in retirement as we're aging and stuff like that. So make sure you're putting your health as a priority and in, in doing those sort of things. Social connections, you know, the old saying, birds of a feather flock together, right? You know, having those friendships and, and relationships that are meaningful and, and that you can share ideas and connect with and, you know, share stories from the past and the present, you know, maybe enjoy hobbies together, all that sort of stuff. And there's so many studies done out there about how those social connections are so great for our mental health, you know, and so much more. Finding a sense of purpose. You know, oftentimes in retirement, sometimes I hear people say, oh, I'm just so happy, I'm gonna rest and I'm gonna, you know, just take it easy. Well, that's, yeah, you wanna do some of that, right? But I'm sure that retirement might be 20 to 30 years, so you wanna have a valuable purpose. You know, maybe that's volunteer, philanthropic sort of stuff. Maybe it's working part-time at some job or business that you always thought you'd enjoy or, or being meaningful and helping other people and using those experiences you've gained over your life. Helping a family business, helping grandkids, stuff like that. Finding that purpose that you have in life. Never stop 
learning. You know, one of the greatest things here at Centennial Wealth that we enjoy doing is we put on client events, one of them being quarterly market update luncheons for our clients. They come in and we educate them and we give them on a lot of the economic things going out, some of the factors we're looking at, and then a lot of times going into other things, whether it's estate planning, tax planning, health care, continuing to educate. And it's so great to see so many people come out for those events to continue that education. And finally, not finally, sorry, another one, optimism. Be optimistic. You know, it's, it's proven when you're more optimistic, your mental health is better. And it tends to be kind of um, contagious, right? You're around optimistic people, you may start to become optimistic and vice versa. So make sure you're looking at that glass is always half full and such like that. Practice mindful gratitude. You know, say thank you for a lot of those things. We've been blessed in so many ways. You've worked hard for this and you've earned it, but be gratitude and, and be thankful for all those things and practice that and you'll find that there's a lot of purpose in that as well. And finally, the probably the one I kind of chuckled a little bit at the end, and some of you may disagree with this, and I'm sure some of you will definitely say yes, have a pet. They talked about how for mental health and you know, cognition sort of stuff, you know, walking your dog, all that sort of stuff. So having that pet forces you to get out and be active. So hopefully you found this valuable today, a little bit different than our normal financial assets, but stay tuned for so much more here on Retiring Well. What another great segment, an interesting segment there on those different valuable assets. We're not just talking about money in this one. There's other things out there that are so valuable to retirees. And you know, I think of that, it reminds me of a client that I had um, out of the Indian River area that came down to Gaylord. Um, and he first met with me a few years ago and he was a, a workaholic. I mean, he loved to be in the office. He loved and found a great sense of purpose working. And his main concern when he retired is, well, what was he going to do at that point? Um, we had a plan in place, his income expenses and his retirement assets were all great. He just didn't know what he was going to do. And so he had a lack of purpose um, when he first retired. I remember meeting with him right afterwards and it, it was almost a little depressing for him because he didn't know what he wanted to do. Eventually, over the next six to 12 months, he found his purpose. So he had volunteered um, once a week at a local food pantry. And then he also started a men's small group and then he was able to take his grandson to school each and every morning and it found his, he found his purpose doing these various things outside of work and it really helped fulfill his retirement in that regard. You know, Jack, I know you had some an example of that as well? Yeah, I mean, I heard one time that you can't be grateful and stressed at the same time. And so where does that gratitude come from? I know I've said this before, but maybe finding a mission other than yourself. You know, recently I joined uh, the board of Project Cane Fire. And basically it's a nonprofit that's trying to bring clean water uh, through drilling of new wells or maintaining good wells down in the Dominican Republic. They have feeding clinics. They have education scholarships that they provide. And tomorrow night we get to meet and kind of finalize uh, the upcoming trip. And almost everyone uh, that's going on the trip this year is retired. And they have this time and now they need to match it with a mission. And what is really cool to see is that their give is a lot bigger than their want. And the impact that they're leaving and the legacy and just the fulfillment and the gratitude that they're getting uh, by finding a mission other than themselves uh, is really, really cool to be a part of. So thank you so much for watching. We really hope that we get to add value uh, to your life as you think about it and strategize and make big decisions. So uh, tune in next week, uh, same channel, same time.